And if you're tired of speakers that sound thin, wimpy, um, bright, or lean, and you want that body to the music in a big way, and you want to be able to shake the walls, right? The Typhons will do that. Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Steve and today I have a review of some speakers that are absolute beasts when it comes to bass. These are the CSS Typhons and these are made in collaboration uh, between CSS and Jay Lee. Now Jay runs a YouTube channel just as I do here. He reviews audio and hi-fi. And over the last couple of years, he's worked with CSS to, in essence, make his dream speaker. Uh, the result is the Typhon. Now, this is a large looking speaker. Uh, it's tall, I should say. It's not really wide. It doesn't take up a huge footprint. But these are speakers that look really, really good, guys. I love the design of these. And the sound I will talk about in a minute, but the uh, presence is quite stunning. Each speaker is two different boxes. The top part that rests on the base, which contains the two base drivers, uh, is a sealed enclosure. And that includes the mid driver and your treble. And what's cool about the Typhons is you can kind of tune it to your room and your ears by adjusting uh, where the tweeter kind of fires, right? And this is for time alignment purposes. But the Typhons uh, are first and foremost, I'll just, I'll just spill some of the beans now, very powerful, very bass oriented speakers. I don't know about you, but I get speakers in here a lot and uh, I'll put them in and I'll be like, where's the bass, right? And I'll have to turn on the subs and most bookshelf speakers, not all, I'll talk about some in the future here really soon that blew me away in the bass department, but most bookshelves, and I've even had some towers that are light on the bass. For example, the Focal Sopra number no. two, when I had those, I felt the mids were a little held back, the treble was beautiful and airy, but the bass, uh, while deep, wasn't very prevalent. And when the bass is missing from speakers, at least in my opinion, the foundation is kind of gone from the music and that's when you have to supplement that foundation with subwoofers. Now what's cool about the Typhons is, I'll say it right now, no sub is required with the Typhons. You can play bass heavy music, electronic dance music, EDM, and Jay sent me a couple of tracks that blew my mind and rattled my teeth. Uh, of course I had the subs off. Uh, these things can pump out the bass and the bass is controlled. It's not loose, woolly or sloppy. But what about the rest of the speaker, right? So it does look like a presence in the room, but because the speakers are kind of skinny, it's not taking up a big footprint, right? So they fit anywhere that a stand mount speaker would fit. That's really, really cool. So what do these Typhons sound like? Are they geared towards a certain segment of music? Well, they work amazingly well for dance music, electronic dance music, EDM. Uh, they work pretty good for rock and roll. So the Typhons sound good with almost any genre of music. And that's a beautiful thing because sometimes when you're looking at hi-fi, high-end audio, audiophile speakers, they excel for one type of music. I know speakers that excel for classical, speakers that excel for jazz, speakers that excel uh, for heavy metal and rock, speakers that excel for live performances. The Typhons are kind of a jack of all trades because anything I put through them, they sounded pleasing and musical, right? Um, these are not the most refined speakers I've ever heard. I will say that they don't have this big holographic imaging on a big sound stage. They do have a nice wide sound stage with some height to it. And the center image with the vocals is always locked in, but I'm not hearing the imaging in space that I hear with some of these high end audiophile speakers. And you know what? That's okay because it, in a way, 
makes this is what makes most music sound really good through the Typhons. They're not engineered to be uh, speakers for those who want to analyze the gear. I believe these speakers were created by J and C CSS to bring musical enjoyment to as many people as possible through as many genres of music as possible. So they may not have the most refined treble, the most refined mids, they, they might not have that big holographic nature, but what they do create is a massive wall of sound that has that bass foundation. The mids are a little recessed if I'm comparing them to other speakers uh, that I'm used to. Uh, the, the, the mids do not come out into the room. They kind of stay balanced with that sound stage. The treble, uh, I had to tune it, right? Because you pull out the, the, the knob on the back of the top portion of the speaker and it pops out little feet, a little leg, right? That can adjust the height, the tilt of the treble. Now, I kind of liked it without any tilt, and when I tilted them down all the way, it was a little harsh. The treble was a little, uh, a little prevalent and a little, I don't want to say raggedy because it's not raggedy, a little, um, just you notice the treble with some music. For example, I was playing some heavy metal and rock, and the treble was a little hard sounding. So I put those speakers flat down, and that kind of went away. And um, as far as positioning the speakers, it was pretty easy, but I did find improvement by moving them around. What I found sounded best with the Typhons were when I moved them farther apart uh, in the room and angled them slightly towards my listening position, but not right at my ears. And this kind of made the sound stage bigger and made the treble a little uh, softer and it made everything kind of gel into place. So don't think you won't have to set these speakers up because I spent a good couple of hours trying them throughout the room and I did find a spot uh, that had them sounding absolutely beautiful. Uh, the one thing I want to keep going back to with the Typhons though is the bass. The bass is absolutely phenomenal. And if you're tired of speakers that sound thin, wimpy, um, bright or lean, and you want that body to the music in a big way and you want to be able to shake the walls, right? The Typhons will do that. Uh, what you lose out is a little bit of the refinement. But when I say that, I'm talking about speakers that are 10, 15, 20,000. The Typhons are $5,500. So I wouldn't expect them to be as refined as an audiophile speaker. And I don't know if I would want them to be because there are tons of speakers out there that have a more refined, see-through transparent kind of sound but the speakers that do it all so well those are harder to find um, let's say let's compare these to say Klipsch Forte uh, 4s right the Klipsch Forte 4s will have a bigger voice a bigger mid-range and it's a little color to the mid-range too with the Fortes um, but your bass will be I think the bass of the Typhons for me is more impressive than the Forte 4s and the treble with the clips are a little more splashy and a little more prevalent. So the Typhons for me are actually a little more refined than something like the Clips Heresy 4 or the Forte 4. Um, but they're not as refined, say, as something like the Alexandria Audio Monitors I have here. Those come in at 6500, but nowhere near the base of the Typhons. Focal Diablos are much more refined in the mids and treble, but nowhere near the base of the Typhons. Uh, the Typhons, when I say they're not as refined as these speakers, I don't mean that in a negative way. Actually, when I say that, uh, there's positive uh, things that come with that, like sounding good with all music. As a package, the Typhons wow me with their design, their looks, uh, and their sound. And I was listening one night for about three hours, and it was uh, I started, I think, at 11.30 at night, and I went, I went to bed at like 3, 3.30. And my notes during that listening session, and I was listening to jazz, uh, Diana Krall, I was listening to some EDM that actually Jay recommended. I was listening to a playlist I created called Ethereal, which is uh, spatial kind of music uh, and ambient kind of stuff. And the, the Typhons did well with everything. I queued up some live music. I actually queued up a live Foo Fighters album uh, that does not always sound good on these audiophile systems, but man, I'll be darned if it didn't sound rocking 
and full of body and life through the Typhons. So, who are the Typhons for? The Typhons are for someone, first of all, who has a budget of under $6,000 for speakers. They're for someone who wants a big, authoritative speaker in their space that's tall, but again, it's not wide, so it'll fit in the same space as a stand mount. It's for someone who wants their speaker to sound good with any music they play through it. And they, somebody that wants a speaker that will have no volume limits. I wasn't able to find the volume limits of the Typhons. Uh, my ears gave out before the speakers did. They're very powerful, very punchy, um, very just present, right? And there's nothing offensive about them in the sound, but with some music you might hear a little more prevalence in the treble. Um, I believe you can even send these into CSS and they can tune the treble to your liking. Uh, I did watch the review by Zero Fidelity and agree with everything he had to say, besides a few things. You do want to take some time to set these up. These are not set and forget, in my experience anyway. Um, and mess with the... Um, the top box, you know, aiming it down for that time alignment. It, it could sound good just straight and flat in your room, or it could sound good at level one, two, three, four. There's different notches, so make sure you align those right for your listening room. Uh, Power-wise, um, these things have responded well to a few amps I've tried with them. I did test them with the Avic U150. I did test them with the Black Ice F35. Um, I tested them with the Choco Sound integrated amp and the Choco Sound was beautiful with the Typhons, as is the F35. The F35 opened them up a little more where the Choco is a little like a chocolate kind of sound, a little warmer and richer vibe. But the F35 Black Ice Tube integrated was almost a perfect match for the Typhons. Um, so you don't need three, four, five hundred watts of power. I was doing it with 60 watts per channel. Um, so the speakers from Jay Lee and CSS, the Typhons, are very musical, very pleasing. They're not going to give you that audiophile, holographic kind of vibe, but what they will give you is full body, uh, sounding good with all music, and they're just pleasing to look at. Uh, I found no issues with the speakers in my time with them. Um, at times when I was listening to some music that I enjoy, I was missing a little bit of that three-dimensionality. But then when I go back to speakers that do that, like the Focals, uh, I lose some of that gut punch and that visceral feel that I was getting from the Typhons. And I remember telling Jay when I first hooked these up, I said, you know, the sound in a way reminds me a little bit of old school Sonus Faber. Not fully, but there was something there in that fullness and plumpness that took me back to those speakers. So um, yeah, that's my thoughts on the CSS Typhons. They are very, very good speakers. They're $5,500. Um, up to you if that's what you're looking for. To be honest, I could live with the Typhons long term, that and say the F35 amp or, or any of the amps I mentioned, uh, it doesn't seem to be so picky in your amp choice, so, like, like Clips Heritage is pretty picky with your amp choice, right? The Typhons seem to gel well with any amp I powered through it, even running them with a Blue Sound Node X as my streamer in DAC, which I felt were right at home with those speakers. Thumbs up for the J. Lee and CSS Typhons. Uh, really enjoyed my time with them. I'm going to pack them up and send them back. But uh, yeah, very musical, sound good with everything, very powerful. Um, bass is tremendous. The mids are a little recessed compared to what I'm used to. And the treble is not as refined compared to what I normally listen to. But you know, you're not paying 10, 12,000 for these. So if you like this video, thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon.